Hello everyone, welcome to this next video. This one's going to be on the NES emulator Nostopia UE. That's support of the original Nostopia with a, you know, a few better features. So go ahead, open your browser. We're going to type in Nostopia UE. That should be the very first one that comes up here on your upper left hand side. You're going to click on that. Now this is for Windows. So we're going to click on this. You're going to download that, put it in your default download folder, extract that, and then we're going to go to the folder where you have that extracted. We're going to launch it, and I'm going to show the settings to get it to look its best. So go ahead and launch the program. Okay, you're seeing these lines here because I have reshade installed in it, so that's why that looks like that. So go ahead and just, uh, the very first one you want to go to is options. The other stuff you can, you know, mess with later. So go to video. Right now I have mine set to 1920 by 1080. Obviously you can go higher, of course, if you want, depending on your, uh, you know, the power of your computer. The filter that I like to use is XBR. They do have different ones here, as you can see from the drop down, but we'll use this one for now. Then I like doing the scaling of four. Uh, I like to do around all corners. What I'm gonna do actually is go ahead and leave it on here. That way you can see the difference from the other ones. So then blend pixels. All right, then we're gonna pick by linear interpolation. Once you have that checked, you can go ahead and hit okay. I like to use system for the memory pool. It all depends on your hardware. You can choose either or. I leave this on auto so once we got that uh, for me it works better if I leave this auto frequency unchecked so I'm gonna leave that unchecked we're gonna click on OK next thing we're gonna do is set up your sound I like to you know putting it the, the best quality there is so you can hit 96 right there get that set stereo hardware again you can choose either or latency the best is setting it. the lower you can set it the better latency you're gonna have and then from there we're going to go into the input where you're going to do the settings for your joystick if your joystick does not show up on the screen up here you can just hit the drop down menu till you find it once you have that uh, chosen here you're going to go ahead and click set all and you can go one by one so you're basically you know assigning your joystick to the section here so select button start button b a and then auto fire b and a that's for kind of like rapid movement for like turbo effect so go ahead and pick that these you can leave as you see right here once you have that all, cho all chosen go ahead and click ok now you got that set up for the timing here you want to make sure and this is for the best results the game will run ok if you don't do it this way but this is the best because it'll give you the smoothest uh, frame rate so you want to synchronize the refresh rate you want to click vsync depending on your monitor or tv you know whatever your frequency is you want to match it to the frame rate so even if you have a more powerful uh you know speed on your tv if you're running 120 you want to set this to 60 for the best results you know set the monitor rate to the same because what's going to happen is it'll run fine then a few seconds you know and, and in between it's going to do a slight stutter but if you match this to your your tv so if you do 60 and 60 on both it's going to give you the smoothest uh frame rate so go ahead and check that at 60 the settings the way you see here go ahead and click ok so we did the timing the paths so this you could change it's gonna you know from the first time it's gonna leave it the default wherever you install the program this you can change it if you want to have your save files you know protected in another folder in case something happens to the hard drive you can change all the locations to these options here so once we have that set you can go ahead and launch a ROM on here so let me jump in here we'll get one roll in here as you can see it's up and running now when you want full screen you can go ahead and hit alt enter and as you can see it went full screen on there and this is the way it'll look with the reshade turned off okay 
this here as you can see. It's really nice. But we'll go ahead and run a little bit here so you can see it. So that's what the savings I had. Now if you have reshade, you can go ahead and activate that and look at one of the videos I did earlier. And that'll add this effect to it. Alright, so we're all set with that. So that's the way that looks. Now one of the other neat features about this emulator is that it will also let you run the Fanicom Disk System ROMs. So if you had those, you can also run those. To be able to use those, obviously you need the ROM, and then you need uh, what they call the ISO file for that. So you need to look for those on the internet. For obvious reasons, I won't tell you where to find them, but you can find that on your own just through a Google search. When you do find them, the files are more or less going to be, you know, named FDS, uh, you know, BIOS files, whatever they decided to name them upon putting them up there. When you download them, the more they're likely going to look like this. You're going to choose one you need in order for it to work with the emulator. You need to take that name and change it to this name right here. So you need to rename it, that one file, this. So once you have that, you're just going to put that file inside the emulator folder. Then you can go into the folder where the emulator is at. Okay, once you're in the folder that has the emulator installed, you're going to go ahead and paste that file in there. Obviously, I'm overwriting because I already had it in there, but go ahead and paste that. And then once you have that on there, it's going to be on your list. So as you can see, the file is now in here. Now what you need to do is go ahead and start the emulator again. I believe you do that in the path section. You want to let it know where that ROM is at. Maybe this one you may not even need to have to tell it where it's at. It might look for it on its own. Yeah, I don't see it listed on here. So once you have that extracted to the folder, what you want to do is go ahead and open up one of the Fana, Fana, Fanacom disk ROMs. So we'll go ahead and we'll launch this one. Okay, here it is here. Perfect example. See, so it is telling you to set it up now. So you're going to click yes. So there you go. So you need to point to where the uh, where the file is at. So you can just go ahead and click on that file when it asks you where it's at. And there you go. As you can see, the system loaded up. With these, it's a little bit trickier than regular Nintendo games. So once you launch a game, you will let this one launch. We'll let it run here and I'll show you. So sometimes it's going to ask you to switch uh, to a different... Uh, ROM and this one loaded up on its own. Some of them is going to ask you to switch to B. If it does ask you to do that, you're going to get hit Shift and B, and it'll go ahead and uh, you know start the game for you. What I'm going to do is go ahead and pick another one so you can see what it does. Okay, here we are. So we're going to go ahead and load one of them that's going to ask you to do that switch. So you can see how to do it here. So it's going to load up. We'll go ahead and expand the window. Give it a few seconds here. Okay, see, so when you see this message, you're literally just going to hold the shift key down and the letter B. And as you can see, the bottom on the left-hand side, it said disk was uh, swapped out. So it's going to read from the disk and it's going to load the game for you. And that's how you get the uh, Finacom disk system rounds working on the emulator. So that is it for this video. So if you guys can you know, make use of this, uh, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and or subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Have a great day.